MMAweekly.com, Damon Martin here with Christoph Szynski. Christoph, uh, we are both big fans of tattoos and ink. <laughs> uh, let me ask you, what, what was your first interest in getting tattooed? You know, um, uh, growing up, you know, I mean, I always, I was always a fan of tattoos, um, especially when I came over from Poland to Canada. Poland being, you know, such a, you know, a really Christian comp community, and just you don't see tattoos on anybody. And then all of a sudden, you know, I'm 10 years old. I, I'm coming over from from Poland to Canada, and sort of looking at people having tattoos and stuff like that. So that's when it all started. I, I started drawing like tribal pieces. I saw a lot of people with tribal tattoos, and uh, it was just something that I started doing when I was 10, 11 years old, just drawing tribal, tribal art, tribal art, tribal art. Every time in class, I'm sitting there just drawing tribal art. And, and you know, I mean, eventually the time came that hey, you know what? Let, let's see if I can get one. And went to a, went to see somebody who uh, who who had a good, good reputation, and uh, I asked her to do my first tattoo. And as you can see, the, the rest is history. <laughs> How old were you when you got your first ink? I was 20, 26, 27. Yeah, I got my. I think it was two years into my MMA career, or one year into my MMA career, and just got my first little travel piece on my shoulder right here. And I don't know. I, the pain was tremendous, but I don't know. I just fell in love and. Uh, just, just started working on more designs, so I, I basically designed my whole sleeve, and uh, and then got into got into some um, lions and dragons and, and the gargoyle on my back, and we have no idea where this is going to take me next. What was the of all your pieces? What do you think was the most inspirational? The moment you said, "Wow, I really want to get that particular tattoo or that particular ink." <clears throat> Um, my back piece. Um, my wife and I spent a lot of time in Europe traveling, uh, backpacking through Europe, and, and we went to the Cathedral of Notre Dame, and uh, all the gargoyles there, you know, outside of the castle, just just beautiful. Um, and to me, it just symbolized how they're protecting the castle. And uh, I got that idea into my head right away. And uh, as soon as I came back to to Winnipeg, uh, I asked uh, Abby Stetcher, who's my tattoo artist, I said, "Hey, listen, I got this idea about a about a." An angry gargoyle who's been aw awoken, and uh, he's coming out of his shell, out of his statue, and coming out alive. And uh, she fell in love with the idea, drew it up all freehand, and uh, put it on my back. We see there's a lot of uh, you know chemistry between MMA and tattoos. I'd say probably ninety percent of fighters have tattoos, but well, that's too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but but you know some guys will say some of it's personal. Some guys say I got drunk and went to the bar. Obviously, mm -hmm. it seems like you you know are very personal with your tattoos. Is that the best way to describe? Very oh, personal? definitely, absolutely. There's always there's always a meaning. You know, I mean, like yeah, you know, you see me with a travel piece, but this takes me back to my childhood. It's something that I was drawn to. That's something that I drew from from age ten until basically now. I still doodle on drive, flying in a plane or driving. You know. My wife's driving in a car, and I'm sitting with a sketch paper and just doodling uh, travel art uh, pieces. So, you know, it's something that I was a fan of, and I grew up, I grew up drawing and, and, and looking at. And and then on this arm, I have a, a dragon and a lion, and the lion represents me because I'm a Leo. So I got this, and then the dragon is is fighting the lion. It's just all the you know, kind of like all the bad stuff that I went through in my life and all the obstacles in the way. And then I have the tree of life, kind of growing from my roots, from my fingers, uh, all the way up through them. So just kind of, you know, just, just everything's just a little symbol. And then uh, over here, my ring finger, my wife and I got this when we got married. It's uh, my love, one way in Polish, and then my love, one way in French, because she's French Canadian and kind of suited us together. So she's got one, and I got one. Very cool. So do you think you'll ever be finished with your uh, with tattoos? You know, I'm always thinking of ideas. Uh, I definitely want to incorporate my son into one of my travel, one, one, one of my tattoos. And uh, maybe do like a little portrait of him when he was a baby, and then I'll make a portrait of him when he's you know 15, 16 years old, and a portrait of him when he's a little older. So you know, I, I'm always thinking about ideas and coming up with them. Right now, with with my career being in California, I have a really hard time to get back to Winnipeg and get my tattoos done. But Abby and I are always on call, and we're always talking about ideas. And uh, sooner or later, you're seeing me with another one. The inspiration never really stops, does it? Oh, not at all, not at all. You know, I mean, there's you know, travel the world. I love tra my wife and I love traveling the world, and and we just we're just in Australia for a month. You know, spent the uh, it's a lot of time in Germany and then Poland after with my family. So there's so many places to go, so many places to see, so many inspirations. So yeah, definitely never gets old. Thanks very much, Christoph. Thank you. I appreciate it.